We know that port 0 can be used for input-output operations or as a low-order address and data bus for external memory. Here we will see how port 0 is used for input operations. When port 0 is used for input operations, a 1 has to be written onto the latch of port 0. And one more important point here is the control signal has to be 0. It has to be 0 when port 0 is used for input output operation. And it has to be 1 when it is used for external memory. So in this case, it has to be 0. And coming back here, a 1 has to be written onto the latch. And when we enable this latch, the data is visible at the output. We get 1. And this is the complement. We get 0. And this is a 2 is to 1 max. And when the control signal is 0, it allows this signal to pass through. And when the control signal is 1, it allows this signal to pass through. And in this case, as the control signal is 0, it allows the output of the latch to pass through, which is 0. And we get 0 over here. And coming coming here, that we know that the control signal is 0 and 0 ending with any other thing is 0 again. So we get 0 here also. And we know that these are the FETs and they act as switches. A low a low to an FET that means it acts as an open circuit. When FETs act as an open circuit, that means they don't allow anything to pass through. And if I measure the voltage at this point, it is going to be high impedance state. It is at high impedance state because this point is neither connected to 1 nor connected to 0. It is at the third state, which is nothing but high impedance state. Now, port 0 is ready to act as an input. An external device, say for example, maybe an ADC or maybe a keypad. If they want to write something, say if they want to write 0, they will overwrite the high impedance state and write 0. And we will read that state through this buffer. And if they want to write 1, they will overwrite the high impedance state and they write 1. And we can read that data to through this buffer. Here we will see how to make port 0 as an output. When port 0 is used for output operations, a 0 has to be written onto the latch. And when I enable this latch, the data is visible at the output, which is 0. And I get 1 here as a complement. And we know that the control signal has to be 0 for input-output operations. So it is 0 here. The multiplexer will allow this signal to pass through. I get 1 here. As my control signal is 0, I get 0 here. Now, port 0 is ready to act as an output. Now we will see how to output 0 and how to output 1. This 0 was written to make port 0 as an output. Now we will write the real data 0. I will write 0 and when I enable the latch, the data is visible at the output. This is the complement. And I get 1 here, I get 0 here. A 0 to an FET makes it as an open switch. This is open. And a, one, a, high, a high to an FET makes it a closed switch. This is a closed switch. So if I go and measure the value at this point, it is going to be 0. Because this point is connected to ground through this FET. So I get 0 here. In this way, we can output 0. Now we will see how to output 1. Before that, I'll, ju I'll just erase these things out.
Yes. Now, I'll write 1 because I want to output 1. I'll write 1 and I'll get 1 here. This is the complement. I get 0. And the control signal is again 0. So, MUX allows this signal to pass through and I get 0 here. As my control signal is 0, I get 0 here. So, now, both the FETs are open switch. Now, if I go and measure the value at this point, it is going to be at high impedance state. This is because the point is neither connected to VCC nor connected to ground. We get into a third stage which is called high impedance state. We were supposed to get 1, but instead of that we are getting into a high impedance state. So what we can do here is, I will add one pull up resistor. So what does this pull up resistor do is, it pulls the value of this point to VCC. Now if I go and measure the value at this point, it is going to be 1. Now the problem is solved. And one more important point with respect to this pull-up resistor is it pulls, it, it only pulls the value of high impedance state to VCC. It absolutely doesn't have any role if the point is at fixed logic. Say if the point is at 0 or 1, it absolutely doesn't have any role. Because in the previous case, we were supposed to get 0. In that case, this pull-up resistor doesn't pull 0 to 1. It has its effect. It has its effect only when the point is at high impedance state. So, in this way, we are outputting 1. Now, we know how to make port 0 as an output and how to output 0 and 1. Here, we will see how port 0 is used for external memory. When port 0 is used for external memory, the control signal has to be 1 so that it allows address and data bit to pass through. First, we'll consider address bit as 1. Here, we will get 0 as the inverted data and we get 0 here. Here, we'll get 1 ending with 1 is 1. So that this is a closed switch, this is an open switch. So if I go and measure the value at this point, it is going to be 1, which is the value of VCC because of this closed switch. Now we will see how to output 0. For that, I'll just erase these things out. Yes. We'll consider address bit as 0. And we get 1 here as the inverted data we will get 1 here, 0 ending with 1, we'll get 0 here. So that this is an open switch, this is a closed switch. If I go and measure the value at this point, it is going to be 0. Because this point is connected to ground through the closed switch. In this way, we output 0. When the address has been formed and latched by address latch enable, the same bus turns around to become a data bus. So this was about port 0 used for external memory.